Hello everyone, here is Van Amsen and today we will solve two sum problem from uh, lead code using Scala. Given an array of integers and a target integer, we are to return the indices of two numbers such that they add up to the target. Let's work uh, within the given uh, code uh, skeleton. So first let's import the necessary uh, modules. So importing the necessary module. So in this case, import Scala collection mutable. And uh, yes, so uh, we are also asked, can you come up with an algorithm that is less than O n square time complexity? So uh, brute force approach with two nested loops checking uh, whether two uh, numbers are add up to target number will not work. So we will uh, make something more efficient using uh, maps and we will uh, achieve time complexity of just O and so uh, linear. So let's start. Uh, initializing an empty hash map. So indices, mutable, hash map, int, int, and looping through each number in the input array, along with its indices. For num index, zip with index, and calculating the complement of the current number with respect to the target. So value complement is target minus num and checking if the complement is present in the map. So if num indices contains complement, then we return. So if it is, we return an array of the complement and index of current index. So return array num index complement and index. And if the complement is not in the map, we add the current number and its index to the map. So num indices, index, and if no pair sum up to the target, we throw an exception. Throw new exception, no to some solution. So yeah, we have uh, implemented our code and uh, it traversed the array only once. So time complexity needs to be around O n, so linear. And uh, let's run it. So yeah, uh, it's working. And what we done, we use a hash map to track the number we have process and their indices. For each number, uh, we check uh, if it's a complement toward the target is already in the map. So if we uh, have seen it before, we know that it's in the map. And uh, if it is, we have our answer that sum up uh, to the target number. F and if not, we add the number and in uh, its index to the map and continue to the next number. So in this case, value is index and our number is a key in our uh, hash map. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, we are going through each element of the array along with uh, its indexes using the zip with index uh, method. So zip with index method, 
Uh, for each number, we calculate its complement with respect to the target, and we then check if the complement is present in the map. If it is, then we found our uh, two numbers uh, that sum up to the target, and we return an order array of their uh, indices. And if not, then we add the current number and its uh, index to the map. And the use of hash map allows us to find the complement in constant time. So overall, this solution has a linear time complexity of O n. And if we do not find any uh, such pair, uh, an exception is thrown saying no uh, to some uh, solution. So yeah, if we go to, through, for example, example, so 2, 7, 11, 15. So first iteration, we have two. And what's happened, we have a target number of nine. So we know that currently we have number two. And if we previously encounter complement, so in this case, nine minus two is seven. Uh, if we have seen seven before, we have seven plus num equals to nine. But no, we didn't have uh, seen seven before. And we add two as a key and uh, index, so zero in this case, as uh, our value. And we go to next number, so in this case, seven, uh, nine minus seven is two. So we know that we currently have seven. And if we have seen before complement, so in this case, two, we have our answer. And we check uh, hash map, and yeah, we have seen before number two. So we retrieve the index of uh, number two. So in this case, it's zero, and we return zero and one. So uh, both indices that will sum up to nine. So nine uh, is uh, two plus seven. So let's test our uh, implementation for unseen test cases. Hopefully it will pass as well. And yes, it passed and it beats 80% all in runtime and uh, 73 in memory. And yeah, it take still a bit. So yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, that's the solution for the two sum problem in Scala. If you uh, found this video interesting, uh, click the like button and subscribe for more coding uh, and challenges tutorials. And uh, see you next time. Happy coding.